The Hyundai Veloster is back for a second generation, and at first blush it might look pretty similar to the last one, but there's actually a lot that's different. For starters, the new Veloster is a little bigger, that means it's a little more spacious inside. There's a new rear suspension design as well that's a little more advanced than that old torsion beam. Around back, I really like that the hatchback has a slightly more logical placement for the button so you can open it more easily too. Under the hood, there's a base 2-litre engine with 147 horsepower, and then the turbo, a 1.6-litre turbo 4 with 201 horsepower. Now the Veloster still has its kind of unusual door configuration. I've got one larger coupe-like door on the driver's side and then two normal-sized doors on the passenger side. Inside, things have been freshened up in pretty much every way. There's this cool asymmetrical design that's sort of focused on the driver, better materials than in the old one, and new features like this touchscreen up here and options like a color head-up display. But this is the one I'm even more excited about. It's the Veloster N. This is the first N performance model we're gonna see in the US. There's already an i30N sold overseas. Now what's exciting about this is that it's a big upgrade compared to the turbo, where that one's got a 1.6 turbo with 201 horsepower. This is a two liter turbo, 275 horsepower, 260 pound-feet of torque. And don't forget, Hyundai used their Nürburgring test center to develop this, and Hyundai has the expertise of former BMW M executive Albert Biermann to work out all the chassis tuning. Speaking of chassis control to mitigate any torque steer you might have from sending that much power through the front wheels, there's a special zero scrub radius suspension design and an electronically controlled limited slip differential. As you'd expect on a performance car, the brakes are bigger, the tires are wider on bigger wheels. The only transmission choice is a six-speed manual, and to ensure sure it can cope with all your racy driving, it's got an upgraded clutch and new synchronizers too. To make sure you know that this is the fast one, this one comes in an exclusive pale blue color that's only going to be offered on end models. And this new front fascia has functional brake cooling ducts to keep everything cool when you're driving it hard. And this thing looks pretty awesome from the back as well. I really love this wing, the little third brake line that looks like it's on a racing car, and this new diffuser panel with these big twin exhausts. The 2019 Hyundai Veloster N goes on sale by the end of this year, and I, for one, am very excited to drive it. To learn more about this car and the standard Hyundai Veloster and Veloster Turbo, be sure to visit us at motor1.com.